In today's video, we will explore the evolution of the world's tallest skyscrapers through time, and what drove the creation of these magnificent structures. Before we move forward, make sure to subscribe to Top Luxury. Let us know about your favorite skyscrapers through history in the comments below. Number 13. New York World Building The push to build modern high-rise skyscrapers started towards the end of the 19th century, when famous publisher Joseph Pulitzer commissioned the New York World Building in 1890. At the time, the tallest structure in New York City was the Trinity Church, with its elongated spire rising 87 meters into the sky. However, the new skyscraper went beyond that and stood at a height of 94 meters the tallest in the world. The building went on to serve as headquarters for Pulitzer's newspaper The World and was demolished in 1955 to expand the Brooklyn Bridge. Just four years after the building's completion, the world saw the emergence of the first 100-meter tall skyscraper, which was the Manhattan Life Insurance Building. Hoping to create an architectural symbol to outshine its rivals, in 1892, the Manhattan Life Insurance Company held a competition to design its new headquarters. The result was a skyscraper that rose up to 106 meters into the sky, and made use of the most innovative designs and technologies of the time. The interior of the building was heated and cooled through one of the first uses of electric ventilation. By the 1960s, the building was no longer fashionable and was demolished to make way for the Bank of New York. Number 11. Park Row Building Lower Manhattan witnessed the rise of a third record-breaking tall building in a decade when the Park Row Building was completed in 1899. It was 119 meters tall and was the first office building in the world to reach 30 floors. At the time of completion, close to 4,000 people worked there. The Park Row building remained the world's tallest skyscraper for the next nine years. Number 10. Singer Building The Singer Manufacturing Company had jumped on the high-rise bandwagon by the end of the 19th century and completed their new headquarters, the Singer Building, in 1908. The building was over 186 meters tall and featured faster elevators than any other in existence at the time. It was promoted as a colorful trademark worthy of attention and was lit at night by 1,600 lamps and 30 projectors, visible at distances of up to 30 kilometers. After two people jumped from the observatory and died, the tower received the nickname Suicide Pinnacle and the observatory was closed by the 1930s. The Singer Building was demolished in 1968 to make way for One Liberty Plaza and remains the tallest building ever to meet such a fate. Number 9. Metropolitan Life Tower Singer Building's time as the tallest skyscraper came to an end after only one year when the Metropolitan Life Tower was erected just a few kilometers away at Madison Avenue. The skyscraper took over the New York skyline by rising up 213 meters into the sky and featured the largest clock faces and bells in the world at the time. The Metropolitan Life Tower was modeled after St. Mark's Bell Tower in Venice, Italy, which later collapsed in 1902. Number 8. Woolworth Building the Manhattan skyline was dominated over the next two decades by the 241-meter-tall Woolworth Building, which was originally planned as a 12- to 16-story commercial building, but underwent several revisions during its planning process. In fact, the final height of the building was not decided until a year into its construction. F.W. Woolworth got the idea to build a skyscraper from his travels abroad, where he was constantly asked about the Singer Building. He decided that housing his company in an even taller building would provide invaluable advertising for his company and make it renowned worldwide. The skyscraper has been featured in multiple films, documentaries, and works of literature over the past century and remains one of the 100 tallest buildings in the United States. Number 7. 
40 Wall Street and Chrysler Building. The next two skyscrapers that took turns as the tallest buildings in the world were constructed as a result of a rivalry. 40 Wall Street, first known as the Manhattan Company Building, and the Chrysler Building were being constructed simultaneously only six kilometers apart from each other. Former best friends, business partners, and now rivals, Harold Craig Severance and William Van Allen were the main architects on the two projects. Severance was working on 40 Wall Street to build the next head office for the Manhattan Company, where one of the investors insisted that it should be the tallest building in the world. Meanwhile, Van Allen was working with Walter Chrysler, America's automobile giant who wanted to build something that turned heads. He wanted a tower that would rise higher than any other structure ever seen. Both the buildings were initially planned to be 246 meters tall, but due to their rivalry, the designs for both the skyscrapers underwent several changes to extend their height. Severance added a copper pyramid and a mast to the building's design, making it 15 meters taller than the Chrysler building's proposed design. Van Allen and Walter Chrysler caught wind of these plans and decided to make their skyscraper even bigger. Severance hadn't given up just yet and added five new floors to the 40 Wall Street's design, giving it its final height of 283 meters. The building was completed in April 1930, becoming the tallest skyscraper in the world. The new record, however, was short-lived. Van Allen had secretly added 10 floors to the Chrysler building and increased the arches toward the top of the building from 6 to 7. Not just that, the building was topped off with a giant spire that was assembled inside the building to keep it a secret. The spire was later lifted up and out of the tower, giving it a total height of 318.8 meters and making it the tallest building in the world just a month after 40 Wall Street had taken that spot. Number 6. Empire State Building Just as the Chrysler Building and 40 Wall Street were tussling to become the tallest skyscrapers the world has ever seen, plans were underway for another tall tower uptown. The tower would be named the Empire State Building and would go on to become an American cultural icon. The building's design was changed 15 times to ensure its place as the tallest building in the world at the time. It finally opened in 1931 with a height of 381 meters to the roof. An antenna spire added to the top of the building took its height to a full 443 meters. The Empire State Building remained the tallest building in the world for the next four decades, consequently ending New York City's race to the sky. Number 5. World Trade Center the Empire State Building's dominance of New York City's skyline was ended by the 110-story Twin Towers of the World Trade Center, with the North Tower rising to 417 meters into the sky. After the events of September 2001, the tower was reconstructed and the newly built tower is 541 meters, or 1,776 feet high, signifying the year of American independence. As for the original World Trade Center, it was the last building from New York to claim the title of the world's tallest skyscraper. Number 4. Sears Tower the title of the world's tallest skyscraper moved to Chicago, where Sears Tower surpassed the World Trade Center upon completion in 1973. It reached a height of 442 meters and supported an innovative tube design. This design made the building more cost-efficient and economic and has since been used in many tall buildings, including the Burj Khalifa. The building features the highest observation deck in the United States called the Sky Deck and attracts 1.7 million visitors annually. Standing at the observation deck, you can see up to 80 kilometers into the distance and into four neighboring states. Sears Tower remained the tallest building in the world for 25 years and was eventually overtaken by a building from another part of the world. Number 3. Patronus Towers Malaysia's Patronus Towers became the first building outside the United States to claim the title of the tallest skyscraper in the world. Completed in 1998, the Twin Towers rise up to 452 meters above the capital, Kuala Lumpur, also making them the tallest Twin Towers in the world. A sky bridge between the 41st and 42nd stories links the two towers. 
The tower lost its status as the tallest skyscraper in the world in 2004 to the Taipei 101 and is also set to lose its place as Malaysia's tallest building in the near future to the Merdeka Tower. Number 2. Taipei 101 From 2004 up until the completion of the Burj Khalifa, Taiwan's Taipei 101 was the tallest skyscraper in the world at a height of 509 meters. The building consists of eight distinct structural units, a design based on the number eight, which is considered lucky in Chinese culture. Its green color was chosen to give it a traditional bamboo-esque look. Taipei 101 is located in an earthquake zone, but the building's cylindrical shape and a seven-degree inward inclination provide it with much-needed resilience against natural disasters. It remained the tallest skyscraper for six years and was also the tallest green building in the world until 2011. Number 1. Burj Khalifa The current century has witnessed a push from the Middle Eastern countries to build higher and higher. Dubai's Burj Khalifa is a symbol of how far the Middle East has come in that regard. It was completed in 2010 and left every other tall building in history in its wake. It soars up to 828 meters into the sky, making it almost 200 meters taller than any other building in the world. The massive difference in height has enabled the building to continue its reign as the tallest skyscraper in the world for more than a decade so far, and with plans for taller skyscrapers on hold, it is set to retain the top spot for the foreseeable future. Did you enjoy this journey through time to explore the tallest skyscrapers in history? Which of these buildings impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to Top Luxury. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.